Just before 2pm on a Saturday, Fiona Beale walked up to staff at B&Q. She was there to pick up compost and concrete, bought using her boyfriend's money. Staff helped her to take it to the car, unaware the primary school teacher planned to use it to bury her partner of 17 years. Beale had persuaded Nick Billingham they were about to have sex, blindfolding and restraining him with cable ties. She then stabbed him in the neck and buried his body in a shallow grave in their back garden, covering it up with wood chips. In sentencing, the judge said the murder was clearly premeditated. There is a wealth of evidence demonstrating your plans to kill him, taking elaborate steps to hide his body, and then having done so, going to great lengths, seeking to make sure that what you had done would not be easily uncovered. The sentence is one of life imprisonment. The minimum term is the term you must serve before the parole board can consider your case and consider whether you are someone where it is safe for you then to be released on licence or not. The earliest that can happen is in 20 years. For months and months, Beale lied and lied about what really happened, first claiming Nick was self-isolating and then that he'd run off with another woman. She even used Nick's phone to send messages to his mum after she'd murdered him. I gave them their Christmas presents and after a little while I said, I'll leave you to, you know, get on with your day. And not knowing later on that Nick was, was buried out in the garden. Nick and Fiona had a complex relationship, one that was marked with claims of assaults and affairs but it was the details that she kept in her diary that proved to be decisive in this case. In one entry, she wrote, It was harder than I thought it would be. Hiding a body was bad. Moving a body is much more difficult than it looks on TV. Detectives eventually found a bloodstained mattress in the basement, and a police dog led them to Nick's body. We welcome the sentence handed down today to Fiona Beale, who will now spend many years behind bars for the cold-blooded murder of her former partner, Nick Billingham. I would like to thank Nick's family and his mother, Yvonne, in particular, for the extraordinary courage they have shown over this dreadful chapter in their life. Fiona Beale has been sentenced to life in prison. Nick's family say nothing will make up for the pain she has inflicted. Daniel Henry, Sky News. <laughs>